<clears throat> here is another classic example of the reason why I like to work on the command line more than from the IDE and the reason is command line gives me explicit control of certain things. Let us now log in inside our Tamcat. And then um, in the SRC folder, uh, let us do a clean. There. And this is our Tamcat folder, and we have our Tamcat uh, location in this Tamcat home here. This is the Tamcat home, and right now, if I do, um, I just installed GDK Java 9 version uh, an hour ago, and as you can see, I have Java 9, and uh, I, I put that here, in this location. And also, I installed Ant, which uh, built on top of the GDK, since Ant is just a script uh, reusing the, the JVM. So I also have Ant here, which I also um, put in the, in the OPT location. Well. The the Tamcat that is running here, and uh, by the way, um, I hook everything inside um, Bus RC. So as you can see here, I I I, I hook in the path. So I prefix the path of home, uh, of the J, uh, the Java home, and the Ant home, and that is how I made my Ant. And the Java 9 accessible. Well, let us try to, let us try to, um, well, there's a problem here because now I will show you. If I do, uh, if I will do a build of my app through Ant. And so there, successful. And if we verify that, And hello, indeed, the app is deployed in, in, in Tamcat. But if we access the app into our Tamcat container, and that's the error. So the reason of this error is that the, the Tamcat that is running here is built in, on an older, is running in Java. Uh, eight, and we are building our um, web app WAR file using Java nine. Well, right now, as I log in into the shell and I type Java, it tells you it's nine, but that is not actually the one that is used by Tomcat. Okay, um, in fact, uh, the reason I had that nine because I hijacked the shell script. So if I am comment the those lines there and we enter again the container so now if I use Java version it's 1.8 and that is now the Java that is used by a Tomcat and the reason I installed Java not GDK 9 there because and uses the Java the Java C which only can come from GDK and I installed GDK 9 and I discovered that uh, when I deployed the app, we had encountered this error. All right, so um, I just downloaded uh, the correct uh, GDK here. Okay, I just downloaded this, and let us now copy this over to our container.
And once it is copied there in the container, um, let us expand the, the tar file. And then um, untar it. And we delete this to save space. There. So now we have in our OPT, we now have two versions of Java, the nine and the eight, which is the one that is compatible to. And let's go there into the GDK uh, 1.8 and save this, make this um, be the uh, be the one to be the to be the to be our Java compiler. Okay. There. And let us open our boss RC. Okay, and let us um, Move this over here. There. There. So all right. So what changed? What? What? The the only change here is instead of using uh, GDK nine, we now point it to Java eight. Okay. And in order for this to take effect, let us source the script. There and double check. And we should now have uh, 1.80, which is you now hopefully compatible to what is running on Tomcat. Um, how about Ant? Ant is still running. So now, let's rebuild. Our Hello app. And we have successfully rebuilt the app. There and let us try to refresh the page. And indeed, we have a successful run of our application. Um, if we see the source code, it is just uh, a basic hide that Java, which uh, got compiled and uh, linked into the into the link with Tomcat using JSP. So as you can see, the web XML specifies hi that JSP as the welcome page. And if we examine um, hi that JSP, It invoked the the class hi from exercise one package instantiated that and it invoked here. So we are basically calling the Java class from an HTML back an HTML and and got um, rendered uh, by the servlet and. Uh, the output of that uh, replace here. So for example, if we change the, um, we can put here, uh, hello world. This is a test. And in fact, you can embed um, an HR line there. And Welcome and rebuild and redeploy it. And let's try to refresh. Now, 
wait and clean and here we are so that's it for now and again the the point the, the point here is that command line control gives you the command line shell gives you the ultimate control also um, the IDE also is a nice tool but at least now it should be a balance between IDE and the command line too much IDE it's not good and too much command line also is is not productive okay too much command line is never bad but it will not make you productive However, too much ID is, is not good. So that's it. Thank you.